IPFS and data. Uh, we had two tracks. We had for modeling and data transfer, dealing with data and then how we move it around. This track was run by Adine and Hannah, who is not here. Um, yeah, so what did we talk about? Uh, for data models, uh, there was some data model or not to data model. Um, we, uh, we had some, didn't even need to talk about it, just could see from the reactions of people in the room uh, that selectors are maybe not optimally suited for URIs or generally how people see them in you know, user interfaces. But we do have an IPLD URI scheme proposal, which you should check out in like the specs repo and such. Um, block limits. People have thoughts about them. We have some plans. Within our group, we had some good ideas. Uh, outside the group, there seems to be some controversy, which means spec proposals and like engagement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, and we also talked about data transfer protocols. We talked about BitSwap, GrabSync, Carpool, which is an, um, and CarMirror, which are upcoming proposed protocols from Fission, uh, an old protocol called Desync, and a new one called Manifetch, which is in, in the works. Uh, we also identified which ones are synchronous and which ones aren't, which ones require authentications, which ones don't, or trusted environments, which ones don't. Um, yeah, and then we also explored the idea that uh, we realized that IPLD has a write problem and Filecoin has a read problem, and so it's just very interesting, high level observation that sometimes you gotta figure it all out. And we have some folks who have been working on the, the write problems in, uh, in IPLD land. Uh, so the most important thing is that this is a very dense learning slide. Mm -hmm. We learned like a lot of stuff and, and had a pretty good sense of alignment, um, I think during, during the track. Um, some big ones, uh, what do we need from ADLs? Um, do we need parameters? Will that help us with decryption things, right? Um, helping people understand when to use the different IPLD toolings um, and documentation on how to make all of that work. Uh, we, yeah, file system abstractions. Mm -hmm. That's sort of a big one. Uh, it was maybe controversial, but we seem to have made some progress that we need to uh, we can create abstractions for file systems, which combined with things like ADLs will let us operate with multiple types of file systems and move beyond just UNIXFS, which mm -hmm. is like really cool. Um, yeah, I tell these first class things and how much time we have. Yeah, uh, look, and then just some action items. Yeah. We uh, defined a bunch of these here. I won't ruffle them all off, um, but they're all pretty, uh, one of the things we also realized from this was uh, we definitely, uh, in terms of deliverables and milestones we want to achieve, we realize that we kind of actually want to do uh, more uh, exploratory research and actually uh, bring each other, ring more up as we start to think about next steps around this phase. So we're thinking the next quarter should be sort of elevating a lot of this stuff into provable, example, good example prototypes that can then be used to solidify decisions around specs. Um, so a lot of these are near term. Let's get, a, let's get something concrete to help unblock how we even broaden the scope of consensus. In a sense, many of these are like our milestones before we can then decide what the new milestones will be. Which is why we got to do them this year. Yep. Cool. Thanks.